Good morning, everybody. We're coming to you live right here from inside the main build facility of Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. I'm Tom. We all know the master Bubba. Good morning, Bubba. How are we doing today? Doing really good, man. As you can tell, I'm completely covered in paint and sanding dust. I've been in the paint shop doing like five cars all morning long. Yeah. I think I just painted a blue car gray and a gray car black. I'm all over the place right now. I see a red door and I want to paint it black. Hey, man, nothing wrong with that. This episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. That's Bubba's Exotic Motorsports. Dot com. Make sure you visit our online merchandise and apparel and our brand new website will be including 19,000 new products, ladies and gentlemen, from the world's biggest sponsor because BEM is simply the best. Steeda Autosports, CPE, Borla Exhaust, Palm Beach Plating, Duraflex, Carbon Creations. Who else am I missing here, Bob? Watson Racing. Watson Racing, man. Did you yeah. said Nitto Tire, American Nitto Racing. Nitto Tire, American Racing, the whole Nitto Tire. Biodynamics. Biodynamics. I mean, it's just Insanity. all out there. It's crazy, man. And especially now with all the street outlaw stuff, everything from small tire to big tire cars. Well, actually, Nitto doesn't make anything for crazy big tire, but there's enough out there that we can put a little bit of both on there. Some of these cars, we may have to get into that Mickey Thompson Hoosier with these big, big, big tire cars. We're going to be talking about that in just a second, Bob. I just had a very long conversation with them. You know, and those are really, really, really good guys over there. Miss Outlaw Boutique, that is Miss Outlaw Boutique for the finest boutique accessories and apparels. Guys, get your girls their clothes for Christmas. If you like your girls, like with cowboy boots and really nice short dresses, very classy stuff to get out and valet, nice jewelry, the whole nine yards, Miss Outlaw Boutique, that's Miss Outlaw Boutique, MSOutlawBoutique.com. Bub, what's the phone number over there? 561-660-6695. The girls have opened the doors up for extended hours as well. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be killing it over there. Cars and Coffee of Palm Beach, the Guinness World Record holding Cars and Coffee event in Palm Beach. What do we got here? What is this? Cars and Coffee, uh, yeah, the, uh, eight to noon. Uh, it's a fourth annual holiday tar car drive, uh, toy drive over there. That's right, Bub, we have the toy drive going on over there. And our great sponsor, our wonderful host, Bub, Palm Beach International Raceway. That's right. Palm Beach International Raceway, right here in our backyard, ladies and gentlemen. Palm Beach International Raceway has joined forces with Bubba's Exotic Motorsports in doing some pretty phenomenal stuff. Bub, we have a huge event we want to announce coming up on January 12th. Well, hit it. Hit it. What is it? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> I have no idea, dude. You just got off the phone closing the event, so I have zero <laughs> idea because we haven't even talked yet today. Yeah, so that's now hit it has been. But you know what we were putting together last night. I mean, just the event of the of the outlaws or something, right? That's it, buddy. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is true. I've been in there working while Bub's been out here. On the 12th of January, we have a very, very, very special feature for you. Brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, Palm Beach International Raceway, and this outlaw boutique. And here is the way it goes down. On the 12th of December, Bub, the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports facility will be closed, okay? We will be pre-selling tickets to a family day of fun with the new Palm Beach International Raceway and their family demeanor, okay? On the 12th, we will have three, four of the outlaw cars right here. Whose cars are going to be in here, Bub? Uh, so let's see, we've got the gold car coming in right now. That's Wayne Varley's. We've got uh, Travis Santa Cruz Black Ops Trans Am coming in. Uh, what else do we have coming in here? We've got the, uh, we have a Nova coming in, yes? No? We have a Box Nova, we sure yes, do. we have a Box Nova coming mm -hmm. in, right? Yep, absolutely, we sure do, man. And there's one more. That's it. Goaty Bo's uh, Box Nova, all the guys from Street Outlaws, Louisiana, and others uh, Street Outlaw episodes will be right here. We are flying these drivers in, Bub, <laughs> courtesy of Palm Beach International Raceway, who's rolling out the red carpet, Bub. Five-star accommodations with these guys, and after the 12th, when they do a tour here, the public is invited. Their ticket purchase includes a tour of Bubba's Exotic Motorsports 
facility, all three sections of it, interior, exterior, and mechanical, Bob. They get to see the street outlaw cars. Then, in the evening, we go go-kart racing because Palm Beach International Raceway has what? Racetracks, Bob. So that is literally the only facility that in the has world, like everything all-inclusive. So you not only have the drag strip, the quarter-mile drag strip with a half-mile safety net, you have... Uh, let's see here. You've got the complete road course. So yep. that is insanity getting out there running serious high horsepower high speed laps on that You have the mud bog you have a junior and a pro series go-kart track out there um, I mean everything you can imagine a full skid pad for all of these pro competition drifters that come out So it is literally the only place you can go if you have one of every type of car and play all day long. And we have, we spent years driving the road course out there by alongside of our world rally champion, Mr. Geo Hammerback from yep. the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Race and Rally Team. Bub. So on the 12th, everybody will get to converge here, see the place, right? What is so funny? I'm just <laughs> You're making it hard for me over here. I, I swear, I think maybe today my name is going to be clairvoyant because I feel like you just ended this phone call like five minutes ago and I'm trying to get all this information it's, that you want. I told you, I've been, James and I have been on the phone. Uh, and then I got all got these pop-ups over some here. Shout, go get those shout outs, man. All right, so let's see here. We've got James, Wayne Varley, Ron. We've got Brian Tess, Travis Santa Cruz, John. Uh, what do we got? What is January, not and December? Daddy. Look at this chicken scratch I got. Ja and it's January, there. not December. That's correct. January 12th. He's absolutely, January 15th. I'm sorry. That's what I thought we discussed this morning. That's why when you said the December 12th thing, I'm thinking over here, like, the only thing I know I'm is sorry, December guys. is December 14th. De December 9th, we're at Palm Beach International Raceway. Again, they roll out That's the red for the carpet drift for the drift course. Okay, with So December 9th is a drift course. Yes. The January 15th of December the is Miss Outlaw Boutique Men's Night, which we're going to be hosting. But then also... You, this morning our discussion was the 15th January yep. was going to be the shootout. That's correct. And the that, fun. That's correct. So we'll be out on the go-kart track, okay. right? That's what I thought. I was then we're like, going it? over to do a meet and greet and we're going to watch the test and tune as well as the Monster Crew, who's one of our sponsors, is coming out with the Monster Tractor Trailer, setting up the tent and everything. We'll park the rally car under there. PBIR is racing done Bubba style. These guys are huge. We have a call with them this afternoon too, Bub, to get things set for the new episodic upcoming see oh, What did I say that, Bub? Not really. Let's talk about this Corvette here, Bub. So listen, man. So this thing is a 67 Corvette. This is probably what a lot of people out there love. Now, it's not a big block, but it is a 67, not a split window, it is a one-piece class. So if this was a 67 split window, big block, four-speed manual, let me tell you, dude, we would have something, I probably wouldn't be leaning on it, right? Mm -hmm. um, those cars are typically in all numbers matching condition in that couple hundred thousand range just because of their value and their rarity. This one is a small block 327 automatic, but is fully optioned. This car was factory power brakes, four-wheel disc brake, power steering, air conditioning, everything you can imagine on this car in terms of its small block with the hard top setup, right? So really cool car, drives really good, super fun cruiser. This is a high-end client of ours, and we did go through and just take all of those old basics out and do very nice upgrades in terms of the air fuel delivery, the ignition system, get it off the point style, set it up, get it off of the original, yes. what would have been a quadrajet style carburetor on here. So we got rid of all those old things that wouldn't make the car fun especially down here in South Florida, it gets really hot and you know, the factory exhaust manifold or the intake manifold oh. had exhaust crossover. So it caused the carburetors to naturally to boil heat out. out. Yep. So then you'd have fuel boiling. You'd have a lot of problems with the carburetor getting very hot, especially under these hoods of these cars. They are very small in terms of clearance. So you do all those upgrades. You can do an upgraded intake manifold and carb, but still paint them in the factory Chevrolet orange, ground down any aftermarket emblems or names off of them, even though we all know it's all Edelbrock right. on here for the street car. But you keep it stock looking. Right, so you can paint all those things, make them look really good, do the Pertronics upgrades, all under the chrome style housings that you know house the factory distributor and coil to the side, the set of plug wires that run down the side, but it is all Pertronics, so if somebody were to take all that off, it still has that nice clean factory appearance and the client goes out and cruises every time he wants to and it's on radial white walls that's right you've done a lot of work on a lot of car, nice right? modernized upgrades to it but still very retro in the fact that it is a true 67 all numbers matching drivetrain and that's what you like to do bub you like to bring all the modern technology into the older body styles because you have a true appreciation for that look and feel yeah it's very nice man so this is out of whose collection bub uh so this is actually out of the mitchell collection and yeah. he owns another ride we've got here at the facility now he owns some really high-end rides really nice ones this is actually, what's crazy is all of his rides are typically in that 
They're six figure plus, every one of them is easily. Mm -hmm. um, he's having another Bel Air built right now. He's mm -hmm. having like three or four cars built all around US right now just because he trusts a lot of big builders. So we have one of them here. We just finished up another one of his, but this 67 Corvette is one of his funnest drivers, man. And everything from like that feel, the era of the car, to just the performance way it well. handles. Oh, he loves it. I mean, out of all of his cars, and I'm talking things that have $20,000 three piece wheels on them. This is his like go to hop in, turn the key and just go cruise. It's not radical. It's not, no, it's not wild. It's just you get in, he rolls the windows down, he turns the air on and he just cruises up and down the ocean. And it's a great car, man. It's a super, yep. super car. So we enjoyed bringing you this 67 bet. But let's reach, uh, go back into some of the street outlaw stuff that we're doing with Palm Beach International Raceway. Uh, Kenny Mitchell is out there. Larry Williams is out there. Wayne, who owns which car, Bob? Uh, let's see here. Wayne Varley. So Wayne Varley is actually the owner of the world known gold car and his son is as well too we have some big news to announce hello to shannon our office manager we have some huge news to announce bub on this is the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports daily live stream and we are the number one rated internationally syndicated motorsports podcast as well this saturday let's talk about this show so saturday we are going to be featuring a lot of guests from the show street outlaws we have a lot of crazy racers out there that are going to be calling in live on our saturday live stream i'm looking forward to that we're going to get up close and personal with these guys ask them behind the scenes questions what a lot of fans out there want to hear they want to kind of get in not just that stuff you see on tv but also the stuff that goes on behind the scenes and we're going to give it to the world and we will have all of the lines open bob uh, the studio hotlines will be open we will have all of the drivers that you know from the 405 crew and everywhere coming out. Black Ops will be there. White Rhino will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, Goaty Bo is going to be there. Uh, who else, Bob? I mean, all the big names are going to be out there. The gold car is going to be there. And, and we have a very exciting announcement about Andreas, Jr. and Sr. Yep. It's going to be a really good show. And ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be opening up the studio for everybody around the world to call in. We have 22 million fans out there, Bob, and they're all going to call in and find out what happened to the street outlaws and find something even bigger about where they're going. Yep. We got some Stay secrets. tuned. We got secrets, don't we, Bob? Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on, not only from stuff going on behind the scenes that we haven't discussed yet and disclosed, but also the events we've got in the works planning right now, um, everything from our website, the social media, the marketing side of it, we have literally over 19,000 products now available online directly, everything from direct fit application, from wheels to tires, to suspension components, to exhaust systems, to nitrous kits, to roll cages, all direct fit application, all the way down to completely custom one-off universal pieces, and everything is fully available in whatever color you can imagine, over 9,000 custom colors available in terms of plating, whether it be prismatic colors, if you want pearls, if you want mattes, if you want uh, metallic flakes, if you want, I mean, chrome style coloring, anything you can imagine, every piece, every product can be color matched to the car, can be color matched to whatever the heck it is you want. So, Bub, I want to remind everybody, anything for John Stalupi, who wants to know, have you done anything for John Stalupi? Bub, let's tell everybody, and who's asking that question? Larry, is, is Larry asking that? Larry Williams. Larry, Larry Williams. Okay, so for, for two things, okay? Number one, Larry Williams is who, Bob? So Larry Williams owns a trim and upholstery shop that does incredible work up in Georgia. Uh, what is the city of that place? He Starts is with an a, a, right? Augusta? St. Augustine. It's Augusta? Okay. Is it Augusta? Larry, what <laughs> city is right anything now. in the mid-Atlantic states, if you need it done, needs to go to him? That's right. Yeah, so uh, Larry owns Sunnyside Trim Shop, man. He does a killer job, man. I'll tell you what, I've, I've done a lot of crazy stuff in terms of upholstery over the years of the business, but there, I probably have never in... This is tough to say because Greg is Greg's one of the top five. Yes. So let me tell you, though, when it comes to especially convertible tops, I don't know if I've ever seen better. Mm -hmm. I mean, Larry He's, Williams. Larry's is in Morrow, Georgia. That's and it. Anybody who wants any kind of upholstery work, custom top. Yep. I mean, custom, custom upholstery. OK, Larry, what's the number to the shop over there, please? Let me have it so I can put it out there for the world. Um, so anybody, not only that, how about the fact that he does restorations? Yeah, man, big time. It's, uh, you know, it's not just for strictly upholstery. I mean, that's, his, of course, his go-to. That's his, that's his easy bread and butter. Um, but, man, if, if it's anything from electronics to gauges to LED lighting to 
suspension work. I mean, all of that stuff can be done right there in house. And if not in house, he's got the guy to do it. And I'm telling you, if it can't get here, because Greg is very busy, he's got seven SEMA cars he's working Dude. on. Everybody needs to get to Larry over at Sunnyside Trim Shop over yep. in Morrow, Georgia. Yep. And if I can get his phone number, I'll share that with everybody. The quality of what he does is second to none. Bob. Yeah. He is amazing at what he does. Yeah, that's, you know, that's tough, too, to not only find good upholsters, but also to find them in an area that is accessible to you. Because a lot of people, um, you know, there's not a lot of great upholsters out there in the industry. Now, there are some really, really strong ones and good ones, but there are not a lot of great ones um, in terms of, you know, making sure the fit and finish is right, making sure that the material chosen is right. That's a big the one. The lines of his sewing, um, man. You know, but when you have things like that, it's, it's not very easy to all the time say, hey, I'm just going to take my car and go to an upholstery shop. They're really not on every corner anymore. Um, you know, and, and there's a lot of guys out there that don't want to have to drive four hours for custom upholstery, right? Six hours. I mean, we're down in South Florida. Somebody from Georgia wanted to come to us. It's going to be a minimum six hour drive. You know, you just typically have it sent in. Same right. thing with Larry. You can just have it sent right there. Yeah. And that's, you know, it's, it's always hard trying to, whether you send the car, it's a big expense, you know, on a transport company, you know, whether you take the seats out and you have to, you know, put seats and door panels and stuff on a pallet to get those shipped off. I mean, it's just a lot trying to work with custom upholstery and paint and body. It's not like you're ordering an exhaust system off of our website that just can drop ship to your house and you take it out of the box, you stick it on. But he will custom, he will take your upholstery and send it yep. back to you. Larry is in Griffin, Georgia. So I'm, I guess our producer wrote that backwards. He's in Griffin, Georgia and hello tomorrow. Larry's shop, uh, Sunnyside, Bub, Trim Shop is 678, ladies and gentlemen, 603-1224. Mid-Atlantic states, California, rush it in there, 678-603-1224, Bob. Yep. Uh, let's see, rough, uh, hey, Mr. Producer, hold the whiteboard up again, please. I'm going to shoot him today. Here we go, Bob. I just want to make sure that Larry's number's right with what he wrote on that last yeah, one. Exactly. Morrow, Georgia is definitely not the same as Griffin, Georgia. Yeah, Russell Fulford. <laughs> Hi, guys. How are you? Russell, where are you from, man? Share a little bit about with us. Bub, I've got to talk about the exciting all-new Palm Beach International Raceway. What's going on over there? What's, what's up with the new management from IRG? So, Let's talk about this exciting racetrack. Last week, we slammed the stands with fans. Let's talk about this. So listen, man, it's, uh, you know, it's... We were talking about it with, so Chris Harris has now officially taken over. Talk about of, a good partner. Yeah. Um, so what is Palm Beach International Raceway? What was Moroso? What most people know it as was Moroso Speedway. Um, you know, now is the new Palm Beach International Raceway. Chris Harris has taken it over from IRG, and he is literally just, I mean, he's just gone through and cleaned house, dude, and that's exactly what that place needed. There, there's too many times where, in the world and this doesn't matter if it's like dealing with best buy if it's dealing with just going to your basic grocery store if it's going to the mall and shopping if it is going to looking at new cars there are too many times where a lot of people flatline like they get something Complacent. started and then they just flatline and all they do at that point is sit back and just let the money roll in well you can't do that if you want to continue to grow if you want to continue to change and evolve with times you have to continually change. You have to continually update equipment around the shop. You have to continually change the flooring around the shop, the way the backgrounds look in the shop. So it's not just flatlined in the same. There's something new every time somebody comes, especially people that have been coming for a long time. They don't want to go and see the same crap. It's like, would you go to SEMA every year if you knew the same Ford Mustang no. was going to be there no. every year? No. Why would you waste your time? You're like, okay, well, I know it's going to be the same thing. I know they're going to be doing the same thing. So Chris has literally gone through and not only evolved everything in terms of Very good the, point. the bathrooms, the parking, the organization, the way you just pull up and sign in, the way you ticket, the way you order your tickets online, the way you can buy your seating, the way you can sit down, the way you can have drinks, the way you can get food. How about the fact they power wash the grandstands? Which is nothing more than a weekend job, but I'll tell you what, that's what people want. You don't want to go out there and be sitting where a giant freaking sick goose dropped a huge deuce. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's a good point, man. I mean, just being just being honest, I mean, that's what would happen, right? That's correct. Some guy that freaking ate a sausage that was seven months ago at the Citrus oh. Nationals, now you're still sitting on his mustard over yeah, here. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, that's so true. there's so much of that took place, and now that has completely just gone. It's everything's been changed. It is incredible to go just to hang out. We were there for the 36th annual Citrus Nationals. We packed that last place. weekend. We some of the street outlaw place. guys were there as well, and it was just insane, dude. The place was sold out. All 6,000 seats sold out. So it was a good time. Everything from the the live bands to I mean, it was literally everything from kids four, five, six years That's old. That's what we want, and we're going to talk all about the way that. up to you know old 
racers that used to race back in the 60s and 70s that are older guys now that they just want to, they're not in the sport, they just want to hang around and smell the raw alcohol and the fuel and they just want to smell that, that, that sensation and see the freaking tires shredding down the track. That's what it's back to now. Now it's literally from ages 3 to 100. People are there, they're hanging out. The pit lanes were packed, the events were packed, the sponsors that line the outside the way the displays were set up, the race fuels that are now in stock at the pumps there from Sunoco, I mean, everything you can imagine. So, Bob, I want to talk about two things. Uh, actually, Chris Harris was so excited, the new general manager over there, was so excited at Palm Beach International Raceway to bring us on board. He came and courted us at SEMA when we were at the autograph table. Mm -hmm. My initial response to Chris was, no, thank you. I don't want anything to do with it. My previous experiences were less than stellar. And Chris said, when you're done, would you please step aside and speak with me? Mm -hmm. Very, very fluent English, very good guy, tall gentleman, and certainly well-educated and presented. You and I stepped aside. He said, would you please just give us a chance? We want your name back there. I told him, he asked what we thought the problems were. You explained to him, I explained to him. Chris immediately went in and broke up the good, boy, good old boy network that was in there, pushed it all out, and I told him the number one most important thing was family. Mm -hmm. It has to be about family. He did it, he did it with stellar precision, surgical precision, and two weeks later we were there, we had the stands packed, and it was the most exciting race-related event I think we've ever been to. Yeah. Kudos to those guys, man. Yeah, I mean, they did a killer job. You know, it's uh, it's great now because they've gotten rid of, and they're still they're still weaning some of it out. You know, as you as you continue to progress forward, you're going to still have some of those people from the past that hang around, and eventually they're just going to not They'll come face anymore out. because they they just don't fit in anymore with the changes that have been made, and that's going to happen. I mean, it's we talk about it all the time. It's you know when you go to especially something like a raceway, man, and the new PBIR is nothing more than a. That's a raceway where you're going to get all kinds of racers. You're going to get guys that are drifting. Typically, you have a lot of Asian people that do drifting. Am I right or am I wrong? You're That's correct. just being an honest That's statement, correct. right? That's fine. So you have a lot of guys like that. You have a lot of guys that run street cars out talent there. Talent is talent. You have a lot of guys that run, um, you know, lifted trucks out there in the mud bogs. You have uh, mini, mini truck shows out there that just line every area with trucks that are just laying frame on the ground. So there is every kind of racer, driver, enthusiast, everything you're going to get in one place. And you want to make that a fun environment. You don't want it to just be like, oh, this guy's knocking on this guy's truck because his wheels are smaller or bigger or whatever. They, it's, good there's point, none man. of that nonsense out there. Like Great Everybody's point. out there having a good time, enjoying the show. And that's what the event is all about. That's what the community of cars is truly all about. Cars, bikes, trucks, doesn't matter. But it's about bringing people together. Not about like, okay, yeah, maybe this guy's going to grudge against this guy because his car is faster. But at the end of the day, get out on the strip, have a fun time, and just go balls to the wall, and then just let your car do the work. It's that simple. And the other thing too, Bub, is they've stopped all the drama. They right. don't tolerate no, the drama and the gossip yep. and the backstabbing. And yep. that was something that was very important to us. We are proud to be partnered up with Palm Beach International Raceway. I am very, very, very excited about this. Palm Beach International Raceway, I have a four, uh, one o'clock call with them, as do you, Bub. Uh, we are finalizing, uh, I'm gonna hold that, and just keep it right there, uh, if you would please, Mr. Producer. Um, we, I have a one o'clock call with them. Palm Beach International Raceway will be the official motorsports uh, complex for the up and coming. Uh, I can't talk about it, can I, Bob? No. Okay. So you, you just have stop. to wait. Ron Gibbony, good morning, Street Outlaws. You guys rock, Bob. James, who is our business partner here with the Street Outlaws. Travis is in the house. Travis is who, Bob? So Travis is Travis Santa Cruz. A lot of people know him as Black Ops Running, the 99 Trans Am small tire car. That thing's an absolute beast out there on the streets. Tell you what, man, wait till we get that thing down here at BEM. <laughs> it's going to be silly, isn't it, Bob? Oh, yeah. I have phone calls with Reggie today over at Turbinetics. He's going to kick my behind. Oh, yeah, because we're going to be doing, like, probably 10 different platforms between now and, yeah, a really short time. Yeah. We'll just leave Plus, it all that. these cars will be making an appearance at SEMA mm -hmm. in the sponsor's booth with the drivers, uh, so people will see it there. Yep. Uh, good. Uh, oh, Bob, tell everybody where uh, the... The, uh, trim side is. Oh, this is good. So Sunnyside Trim Shop. We've got, we, you already gave the number. I'm going to go again. 678-603-1224. You've got 3919 North Expressway, Griffin, Georgia, 30223. Hours of operation are from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. For your finest in automotive accessories and upholstery needs, call Sunnyside Trim Shop. That was pretty good, wasn't right it? On, right on, bud. That's usually my job, man. Yeah, but I feel like you fell asleep on me earlier. No, I was letting you go, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yo, I gotta get back to work, dude. I've literally got like, so I think, I kid you not, what do I, what colors do I have on me? I got blue, I got red, 
This is primer down here on my pants. I have a blue house with a blue window. This black is oil stains because I stepped over here to help these clowns with a master cylinder. So I got oil everywhere, right? Brake fluid, essentially. So mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, man. I've got to get back in that paint shop. I've got so many rides in progress right now. Everything from, man, stuff in the mechanical department to there's pro touring rides sitting off behind us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Sitting in here, we've got, I don't know, 10 or 15 in paint and body right now that are literally in the four to 600 sanding stage right before you wipe them down and get those things rolled in and get them ready for paint and masking. So we've got those things ready to go. Man, I've got paint freaking flying all over the pace back. I'm telling you, I'm painting the car wrong today. Wipe your face off, it's got red on it. That's because I was painting a red car, dude. Just kidding, you bub. Till tomorrow, bub. Keep on doing it, Bubba style. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode is brought to you by Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, the number one motorsports complex in the world. Bubba's Exotic Motorsports.com. Visit our new online merch and apparel, and ladies and gentlemen, our 19,000 products that are going up for sale. Of course, with the crew around here, it probably won't be up until next November or Black Friday. How about that? How about this, ladies and gentlemen? This outlaw boutique, the Moose is Loose in Abacoa, all of the street outlaw drivers will be at Miss Outlaw Boutique. Tamicia? Tamicia? Am I pronouncing that right? Tamikia? All right, anyways, hello. I'm trying to pronounce it to you. Good morning, Tamicia or Tamikia. I don't know how that's pronounced. Anyways, the outlaws will be the street outlaws. Yes, Vidiello is, okay, that is our business partner with the new business venture at BEM. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Outlaw, the uh, uh, the outlaw, the moose is loose down in uh, Abacoa, the beautiful supermodel Layla Von Athey and the stunning Robin. We will be there making a guest appearance with the street outlaws on the 12th of January, 12th or 15th of January. 15th of January, bub? Jesus with these dates. It's the 15th. The 15th of January on Friday before, what is it? 12th. The 12th of January. Jesus, with these dates, the 12th of January, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be out there, the moose is loose, and TBEM, BBIR, and the Street Outlaws will be there. Come out and check out Miss Outlaw Boutique. It's on the calendar. You're going to meet us there. You're also going to see us at Palm Beach International Raceway for the Grunge Go-Kart Race, 100 miles an hour, with the Street Outlaws, Bub and I, and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to wreck everybody out there, and I don't care. Test and tune, autograph session, the whole nine yards, that Friday night. Saturday morning, the 13th, Saturday the 13th, Saturday morning, the 13th, ladies and gentlemen, Russell Fulford, good podcast. Man, thank you for joining us, Russell. You bring good vibes to me, man. We feel good about that. Saturday morning, the 13th, the Outlaws will be in-house we got to let Discovery Channel know they're not going to be happy, ladies and gentlemen. we got a little grunge going, and I like stirring things up. Saturday the 13th, they will be in-house with us at the Bubba's Exotic Motorsports Broadcast Studio. This Saturday, you can call in live. All the boys will be with Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, along with James as well. It's going to be a fun show. 714-242-5166 is the hotline number, 9 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 714 714- 242-5166. Tickets will go on sale before the event. I'll be keeping it up on our Facebook. Palm Beach International will. All the drivers will. James will. It'll be all over. You can buy your tickets in advance. Great, great, great post-Christmas present, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Outlaw Boutique. Palm Beach International Raceway. The Guinness, the best. I mean, just if you want to go out there and race, this thing's got everything. It's got a road course, mud bogs. It's got go-kart track. It's got... Uh, Bob, why are you laughing? <laughs> we got some uh, Ron, Ron Gibney. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, says Ron. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the drag course out there. We've got Chris, the most hospitable. He rolls that carpet out like that, and he's taking good care of everybody. This is the new Palm Beach International Raceway, ladies and gentlemen. It is family friendly. Keep the drama for your mama outside the gates. We don't need to listen to negativity. You don't like this car. You don't like, this is family fun, man. Dads bring those little girls with the little ponytails and your son. Walk through it, man. Nobody's going to be using profanity. It's family oriented and it's clean. The new Palm Beach International Raceway brought to you by Chris Harris and the IRG group over there. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, the bub. James, Travis, Sammy Cruz, and Brandon Smith are going to put you in the wall, pal. <laughs> Wait, James, Travis, and Santa Cruz are going to put me into the wall? Guys, that's going to happen. You know what? And there's not even trying that. You just don't understand how I drive. It's something akin to this. Into the wall. Huh? 
Yeah, like Bob said, I'm going to drive myself. And ladies and gentlemen, the Guinness World Record holding largest cars and coffee event in the world, right here in the Palm Beaches. It'll be this weekend, 8 to noon, 8 to noon, exit 71. How about that, guys? 8 to what? 3? Exit 73? 3 December. 3 December. What is it with this guy? 3 December over here. All How right, about that, ladies and gentlemen? Ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure we reach out to touch somebody's life in a very positive way today. A lot of people out there with gifts in their hands. You know what? And there's a lot of elderly people out there. We're pretty blessed to have what we have. Even the worst of times, open the door for somebody who's got their hands full, ladies and gentlemen, please, especially if it's an elder. Somebody's with a walker, please, open the car door. Help them get it out of the trunk. It doesn't take that much to get them into the restaurant or wherever they're trying to go. If they had better days. They'd like to be walking around, too, just like we are able to. So let's take that and turn it forward. Buy somebody a pair of shoes, unlike mine, that we can see Diesel eats on a daily basis, but at least the soles are there, ladies and gentlemen. If somebody needs a pair of shoes, buy it for them. I can't even get mine on anymore. Buy them a pair of shoes. Pay less is cheap, ladies and gentlemen, or give them a pair of yours that's close, just not too small. Give them a bigger pair if you need to. And if you see somebody hungry, especially during this holiday season, ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to give them your money, man. Burger King, McDonald's, 7-Eleven, Chevron, just buy them a little bit of holiday cheer, man. Make sure their stomachs are full. They're, it's, they don't always want to be out there by themselves. Let's make sure we do that. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, let's take care of those animals that God's entrusted us to, okay? They need us. We need them. But it's our responsibility to give them the very best of life. We're excited about all the great things going on here at Bubba's Exotic Motorsports, Palm Beach International Raceway, and the Street Outlaws. You're going to hear a big announcement very soon. I'm just waiting for our corporate attorney and entertainment attorney, Joe Jansen, to put it in writing for us. That will be done today. Till tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for allowing us into your homes. And let's keep on doing it Bubba style. Hey, Bubba, let's go grab something to eat, shall we?